Hey there, it's Holly the Twister Sister back with another free balloon animal tutorial just for you guys because I like you so much. Today I'm going to show you how to do a tiger. So the next few videos I'm actually going to be doing cats and today's cat is going to be a tiger and then I've also got a cute lion which I'll show you here. Cute little lion and then I've also got a fun little house cat. So I'm going to be showing you all three of these designs in the upcoming videos, but today we're going to start with probably the simplest one, uh, and that is going to be our tiger. So to make this tiger, this is a good one for parties, you're going to need, you can do the basic design uh, with just three balloons, uh, two orange 260s and a white 260 and then a black scrap for the nose and then you can just do the rest with artwork you can draw the eyes on or if you want to get fancy and do some cool eyes like this cat uh, then we're going to need some 160s so i'm going to do a lime green 160 and a black 160 for the eyes of the tiger so we're going to blow up our orange balloon about four or five pumps with our green hand pump Okay, and then grab your white balloon and we'll do the same thing, about four pumps with the white one, like so, and tie them together at the nozzles. Okay, see the tails, pretty cool. All right, so I like to start with the white balloon on this one. It gives it, seems like it gives it a better, helps tie everything together better when you start with the white. So we're gonna start with the cheeks. So I'm gonna just do a small loop about the size of my hand. And then I'm gonna do his nose area. Cheek, well, not cheeks, but whatever those things are called. Two bubbles, about one and a half to two inches each. Like that. Ooh, you wanna try to get them to be as close to the same size as possible. So that should be good. I'll just twist those bad boys together. All right, and then we need another loop, same size as that one. That's good. Okay, so we've got two loops and the nose. Now we're gonna start on the head. So I'm gonna come up about two, three inch bubble. We're gonna do two loops for the ears. So I'm gonna squeeze my balloon out, make it nice and soft and squishy. Do one loop, squeeze it out, do two loops, okay? You're gonna bring your back your balloon back down into the white, twist all that together. Now, your balloon is going to come up over the ears and down, back down the other side and twist back into the white. Now, if you arrange everything, you should have something like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the ears to point forward more cat-like that way, okay? And we wanna twist our balloon around so we've got the white in front and the orange coming out the back. And what we're gonna do is kind of, it's a little bit like a penguin body. I know my penguin video is really old, I should probably redo it, but we're gonna bring our, both our orange and white balloons down together and make a twist. And then I'm gonna do two pinch twists here on the white balloon. And these are gonna be the white paws of our tiger. So go ahead and do one bubble, make that a pinch twist, do another bubble, and make that a pinch twist as well. Okay, now we're done with this white one, we can just get rid of it, and just save that for later. And I'm just gonna wrap this around a few times to secure it and keep it from coming undone. So now we've got some options here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rest of this and I'm gonna bring it back up into the head of our tiger by just twisting it around one of those cheeks. So now you've got something like this, which would actually be kind of cute, is like a little fast bracelet or a little two balloon tiger hat. Um, he just doesn't have a, his back legs. Those aren't important anyway, are they? <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and take your second orange balloon. About four pumps in this one as well. Now, 
This is not long enough here to be the back of our tiger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that and just wrap it around his cheeks a couple times to secure it. And I'm gonna take this orange balloon and just twist it right into the back of his head where the rest of that balloon was, okay? And now we're gonna come down, we're gonna make his back about that big, four or five inches there. And then I'm gonna do his back legs, which are basically just two loops. So about a hand's width there and another one. Okay, now we need to connect his back to the front. So basically you're just gonna do a two, three inch bubble here and it's gonna go right around his two white little paws and back out the other. And then we're gonna go back into his back leg loops and just twist it back around those loops, just like that. So we sort of made like a little triangle base here. Just kind of straighten everything out. One thing I like to do is I like to put a pinch twist here at the base of the tail to help his tail go straight up like I wanted to. So I'm gonna do a small round bubble there. And pinch twist that. You don't have to do that step if it's too hard, but I like to do it. And then I'm gonna give his tail as much of a curve as I can, because that makes it fun. You can get it kind of look like it's coming off to the side here. Straighten everything out. Now, that is the base of our tiger. And as you can probably see, this also makes an excellent house cat base, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, we just do the nose and some little things a little bit differently. Um, but that is the basic setup for our cute little tiger. And what I love about this design, obviously you guys know I love stuff that can sit up on a table on its own. And this does just that. So it's perfect. Basically it's the perfect cat design. <laughs> so let's finish this one off. I'm gonna get a black scrap for the tiger. Use a black balloon for the nose. So just gonna blow this up a little bit, just as big as we want it to be for the nose. Tie that off. And I'm gonna tie off the end here also, because I don't need this big giant tail on my nose. So we've got that, a little piece of candy. And I'm going to attach this by taking one side of my balloon scrap. I'm gonna uh, thread it underneath the two white bubbles, around over top and back underneath. We're gonna pull that tightly underneath and just wrap it around one of his cheeks. And then we're gonna take the nose, the other end of it, and we're gonna pull it up and straight back and twist that around one of his cheeks as well. So you get a nice little tiger nose there, just like that. Okay, now you're basically done at this point. If you wanna draw his eyes on, that's always an option and you can draw the stripes on. Um, I like to do the eyes with a little bit of 160s. So I'm gonna do green eyes on this guy. And I just put two pumps of air in here with my small 160 pump. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this, let a little tiny bit of air out, and then tie the ends together. And be careful with these 160s when you're tying. If you pull too tight, the balloon just rips and you have to start over. <laughs> so cut off your tails there. So you've got just this little tiny loop. And I'm just gonna try to twist that in half here and twist one side of that. So I've got something like that. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna bring it underneath this front bubble here. So just slide it, pull that orange one out, slide your green ones underneath, and then spread them apart a little bit with your fingers. Like so. See how good that looks? And I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't even know. <laughs> now on the eyes, I like to get the eyes down low. They look better the closer they are to the nose, in my opinion. So I'm gonna position them right about there. Now it kinda looks like a zombie tiger at this point. 
So I'm also going to use a 160 black for the pupils. You could just draw the pupils on there, save yourself a step, but we're going above and beyond today. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of air in my 160 and I'm gonna let it out. So I just have barely enough air in there to make two small bubbles. So I'm gonna tie this off and I'm gonna carefully, so careful, I'm gonna carefully twist this into two small bubbles as close to the same size as I can get them. So I've got that. And I'm gonna twist this around a bunch to put a lot of space in between my two bubbles. See, I've got a nice long space there. And what I'm basically gonna do now, I'm gonna take the tail end and that space and I'm gonna tie a double knot to make that bubble into a sort of pinch twist. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with this other bubble. I'm gonna pull out the tail, bring it in towards that space, tie it to a pinch twist, double knot. Obviously you might not wanna do this step at a busy party, um, but if you've got the time, it really looks cool. Now I'm gonna cut off my tails. I don't need those. So now we've got two small pupils with a little bit of space in between them and that gives you some room to play with the positioning of these guys. And just like the other ones, I'm gonna put them down towards the bottom of the eye here, close to the nose. So I'm just gonna slide them in at the top here, which is gonna look kind of silly. And then we're gonna bring them forward over the green. So they're forward there. Still looks kind of silly, so I'm gonna wedge them now. Just wedge them like underneath that orange one at the base of the green ones. And I gotta kind of look at what I'm doing here to make sure I get it how I want it. There we go, that's pretty good. Ta-da! See how awesome that looks? It's got his green cut eyes. You don't have to draw the eyes on, so that's nice. Especially with the tiger, because you gotta do a lot of other drawing. Unless you're using the printed tiger balloons, um, which if you like those, go for it. Last time I used those, they were popping a lot. So, I think they got old. I'm gonna do three dots on each side of the nose, and then I'm gonna do whiskers. Am I gonna do whiskers? Yeah, we'll do whiskers. One, two, three whiskers on each cheek. I like that. So that's basically the house cat. <laughs> Two videos in one. And now I'm going to do stripes just all over this guy. And everybody does their tiger stripes differently. Some people just do lines. Some people do squiggly lines like I'm doing. Some people do like these cool triangle things, which I'm not very good at. So we got lines on the head. And I'm just gonna do them on each of the front legs coming down here. Four stripes on each side. And then if you want to be very thorough, you can do the little loops for the back legs. And then we can do some lines on the tail, just going all the way up to the top. There we go. Now, one thing I forgot to do is I like to take this white balloon here for his tummy and it's good on the top, but I want it to kind of go back a little bit on the bottom here. So I'm gonna wedge it back behind the front legs just a little bit. So it's not sticking out so much. It kind of has a little bit of a curve to it there. That adds a nice dimension for your tiger. So there is our simple, as simple as you want it to be, tiger, which you can make as complicated as you want it to be. You can add a tongue, you can add all kinds of stuff to this guy. Um, now he looks great, again, just sitting up on a table on his own, it's awesome. Or you can make him a hat, which that would be really cute if you just stuck him to a headband or on top of a geo on top of a headband. That would be fun too. So. 
There is our adorable tiger. I hope you guys like this one. Came up with it the other day and just had to share it with you. Uh, so please let me know what you think of this guy. I will definitely be using this at my parties and events that I go to. So I'd love to hear if you guys uh, make this, uh, share your pictures on my Facebook page. The link is in the description down below. I'd love to see how your tigers come out. And as always, thank you guys so much for all the support and for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in my next Tutorial Tuesday. Bye!